Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to have a look at one of the things that I do for preventative maintenance on my boat trailer. It may be something you know, or maybe not, let's have a look and see. In this episode I'm going to look at bearing protectors. Now I like them because the bearings on a trailer are frequently under salt water and the bearing protectors make sure there's plenty of grease in there and that gives me the peace of mind to know that I'm keeping as much salt water out of the bearings as I possibly can. Now I'll just apologise right up for the quality of the video at the beginning of this. I did try a new action camera I bought, it was just a cheapie. It'll do for what I intended it for, but it was a mistake to use it for this job. Now once I take the little tin cup off that usually covers the end of the bearings, it's just a matter of tapping these into place. Get a hammer and just gently tap them all the way around the circumference until it's fully seated. And once you've got it seated and you've filled it with grease, there's these little plastic caps that go over the outside. They serve to keep the salt water off the grease nipple and I guess also prevent road dust from getting into it. Well, I obviously didn't have grease gun seated on the grease nipple properly because a fair bit of grease seeped out the side there. Never mind. I'm going to leave that grease on the outside there because the grease on the inside pushes the piston back out. There's a spring there to push the grease back into the bearings. Plus there's a nipple there as well. So if any water gets inside this plastic cover, I want that grease to be there to protect the spring and the nipple. Now I've got another angle on doing this, it's a close up so you'll see what I mean by the grease pushing the piston back out. I'm hoping that we can see what's happening here. full. As soon as the grease cart's come out that weep hole it's full and I wasn't focusing on it so I missed when it first started and ended up making a bit of a mess. So that's okay, I've got some rags. And it's easier to clean up. I'll just wipe most of that back into there. And put that on. Just make sure it goes on all the way because that'll cover that weep hole as well. And that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's given you something to think about and maybe made your trailer maintenance a little bit easier in the future. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel or browse to my website. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe for more. Until next time.